Bemidbar chapter 9. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai, in the first new moon of the second year, after they had come out of the land of Mitzrayim, saying, Now let the children of Israel perform the Pesach at its appointed time. On the fourteenth day of this new moon, between the evenings, perform it at its appointed time, according to all its laws and right rulings you perform it. And Moshe spoke to the children of Israel to perform the Pesach. So they performed the Pesach on the fourteenth day of the first new moon between the evenings in the wilderness of Sinai. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moshe, so the children of Israel did. But there were men who were defiled for a being of a man, so that they were not able to perform the Pesach on that day. So they came before Moshe and Aharon that day, and those men said to him, We are defiled for the being of a man. Why are we withheld from bringing near the offering of Yahweh at its appointed time among the children of Israel? And Moshe said to them, Wait, let me hear what Yahweh commands concerning you. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, When any male of you or your generations is unclean for a being, or is far away on a journey, he shall still perform the Pesach of Yahweh. On the fourteenth day of the second new moon, between the evenings they perform it, with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they eat it. They do not leave of it until morning, and they do not break a bone of it. According to all the laws of the Pesach they perform it. But the man who is clean, and is not on a journey, and has failed to perform the Pesach, that same being shall be cut off from among his people, because he did not bring the offering of Yahweh at its appointed time. That man bears his sin. And when a stranger sojourns among you, then he shall perform the Pesach of Yahweh. He shall do so according to the law of the Pesach, and according to its right ruling. You have one law, both for the stranger and the native of the land. And on the day that the dwelling place was raised up, the cloud covered the dwelling place, the tent of the witness. From evening until morning it was above the dwelling place, like the appearance of fire. Thus it was continually, the cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And whenever the cloud was taken up from above the tent, after that the children of Israel would depart. And in the place where the cloud dwelt, there the children of Israel would camp. At the mouth of Yahweh the children of Israel departed, and at the command of Yahweh they camped. They remained camped as long as the cloud dwelt above the dwelling place. Even when the cloud lingered many days above the dwelling place, the children of Israel guarded the charge of Yahweh and did not depart. And so it was, when the cloud was above the dwelling place a few days, according to the mouth of Yahweh, they camped, and according to the mouth of Yahweh, they would depart. And so it was, when the cloud dwelt only from evening until morning, when the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they departed, whether by day or by night, whenever the cloud was taken up, they departed. Whether two days, or a new moon, or a year, that the cloud lingered above the dwelling place to dwell upon it, the children of Israel camped, and did not depart. But when it was taken up, they departed. At the mouth of Yahweh they camped, and at the mouth of Yahweh they departed. They guarded the charge of Yahweh at the mouth of Yahweh by the hand of Moshe.